you talk about what you think might be the first reported case of curing early Alzheimer's uh, with T3 thyroid replacement therapy. What does this treatment consist of? Do you just pop a pill a day? How does it, how does it work? Well, the treatment uh, consists of uh, T3 triiodothyronine, which is the active form of thyroid hormone. Yes, in an ideal uh, simplified setting, um, it's, uh, it's a pill a day. Now, having said that, um, when the dust settles on Alzheimer's disease and we know all there is to know, we're likely going to understand that there are um, perhaps multiple causations in a given patient, and also that um, the, the, uh, the causative factors in men and women may well turn out to be different, even, even though the final uh, common pathway, so to speak, which, is the, uh, which are the clinical manifestations, the signs and symptoms of the disease, may appear to be the same. Uh, things that, that happened prior to that point may be different. Are there any side effects with taking this therapy? There are no side effects because it is, uh, the medicine is uh, essentially uh, identical chemically to the hormone that the body produces. So that the, the only side effects that one would expect would be um, side effects relating to the prescribing physician picking an inappropriate dose to start with. You've stated that current testing for an appropriate thyroid range is off kilter. How do you know when someone's low on this hormone? It's been understood by some for the better part of half a century that the gold standard uh, for management of hypothyroidism uh, is the patient's response to thyroid hormone and not the blood tests. Unfortunately, uh, only a very small minority of physicians sub subscribe to this philosophy and for the vast majority of physicians, um, if your thyroid blood tests are normal, you're normal. That is clearly not the case in some patients. If a person's showing symptoms, regardless of the test, you might try out treatment to see what the results are? Is that basically...? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I might add that um, over, over the last um, 20 to 30 years, a lot of research has uh, been developed uh, in regard to what happens to the thyroid hormone uh, from the time it enters the cell until it gets transported inside the cell to the nucleus where it has its actions. And um, this, is, uh, this is new knowledge. Which, which although it's been, it's been developing for about 20 to 30 years, um, has not been incorporated into clinical management at the level of the doctor and the patient in the office. You know, it, so in regard to what support there might be for a clinical trial of, of uh, T3, or the active form of thyroid hormone in humans to try to prevent or arrest Alzheimer's disease, um, there, is there is a substantial amount of animal data uh, supporting a link between thyroid hormone and Alzheimer's disease. It's puzzling to me why, um, why the clinicians and the researchers have not picked up on this.